you guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'm deciding moving my phone. Anyway, you guys, welcome back yet again. This time I'm going to do a video of my nighttime skincare routine, which is a little bit more extensive than my daytime, I think. So as I mentioned before in my daytime skincare routine, I mentioned that I have a shower in the morning and that's how I do the morning one. At night, um, normally because I've got makeup on from work and, and that kind of thing, uh, for the most part, I have a few more products that I would like to share with you and I'll do it in kind of in the steps in which I would use them, I guess. So um, after a long day at work, come home, war paint, <laughs> get the war paint off. Uh, one of the first things I would do is use, now there's very little left. It's my Bioderma Solutions Micellar Water um, Purifying Cleansing Micellar Solution. And I haven't found this in too many locations in Canada. I did find it in a Rexall in a town or a city, sorry, near me. So it came, this is a 250 ml bottle and it also came with a 500 ml bottle, which I still have. And for, I think it was on sale for $33. Like one of these 250 ml is probably about $23, $24. So that was a great deal to get this one and then one double its size for about $33, $34. So really enjoy this. And I take one of these wider cotton pads that I have here, um, square kits from, square, sorry, square cotton pads from kit, again, from Rexall. So I just take one of those cotton pads and put this on there and, and wipe down the first layer of the eye makeup. Sometimes I do wear, uh, oh, the wind is so bad. That's my garbage cans falling down the stairs. That's how windy it is. All right, <laughs> I'll just continue. <laughs> so anyway, you put this on the, the cotton pads and take off the first layer of makeup. I do wear waterproof makeup um, a couple times a week if I know I'm going somewhere that I'm gonna need, I might sweat or what have you. But because I'm almost out of that one, now I know I already have a bigger bottle of that Bioderma, but because I have three packages of these, because Walmart had them on sale at one time, um, like $6.99 I bought this. So this is what I'll use next after that micellar water is, is done. So there's that. And then I go and I wash my face with the Body Shop's Seaweed Purifying Facial Cleanser Combination Oily Skin. This is almost done. It's quite nice. It was one of those ones where you put on dry face, you know, dry face first and then wash it off. It was quite nice and would I repurchase perhaps if they are still selling it when I'm out of my other items that I have to try as well. But because again, that's almost done. I also have this, it's the um, Algenist Aluronic Acid and Microallergy Oil. <laughs> it's the ultimate anti-aging melting cleanser. This was also one of those uh, Sephora sampler packs that I per I've never tried this. It's again, one of those ones that you put on a dry face and you massage it into your skin and take off your makeup. Then after that, I have the Drops of Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask from the Body Shop. And it is the weirdest thing. I think I've shown this before in one video. I can't tip it over, but it's the weirdest consistency. It's like I have to, I know it came with a spatula, but I got rid of this, oh my God, it's so windy. I got rid of the spatula. Um, so I have to like pinch product out and sort of place it in, in different spots on my face and then massage it in because um, it's it's it, it's weird. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like gooey. <laughs> and then um, what I've been using are the, for under my eyes at nighttime is the Body Shop's Drops of Youth Eye Concentrate, Firming Concentrate for Smoother Looking Eye Contour. Would I repurchase this again? I probably wouldn't. I will appreciate, I do appreciate, sorry, the rollerball and it, you pump it a couple times and it comes out, but I don't know if I re repurchase. I think I like some other products better. And then once in a while, it's always nice to treat yourself to a little face mask. And I've got um, budget friendly versions. This is the, um, well, what are you? It's what I find at Walmart and they have all different kinds for all different reasons. And I just happened to pick this one, a creamy coconut hydrating vitality boost for tired skin. I can be tired lots. So anyway, I get normally with this kind, I get normally two uses of it. I basically just fold it over and put it in a Ziploc bag and, and use it, you know, a couple times. So I really enjoy these. That's budget friendly. And for one time only, 
These are the Sephora masks. I've got the, uh, sorry, Sephora rose mask, and I also have the Sephora pearl mask. And these are great. They're, they're literally, just like the picture shows there, you basically put it over your face and you let it sit there. And most of these I think you have to leave on for 15 minutes. Yep, 15 minutes. And both of these are said to just leave when you remove the mask itself to just pat what um, the serum that's still on your face and wet, just pat it into your skin. These are great. I am an on-call volunteer firefighter and although these are very nice and I do like them, but I just don't know when my pager is going to go off. So sometimes it's kind of nice to have these where you can just rip it off and like, you don't have to spend like when my pager goes off, I got to go. So, um, yeah, so these are quite nice for that. And yeah, I got one for my sister. Shh, don't tell her birthday's coming up in the next week. So she's getting one in her birthday basket. So any, anyway, guys, that is everything for my nighttime skincare routine. Uh, I hope it wasn't too noisy. I have cedar trees and all sorts of trees around me and I see chunks of it all over the place right now because the wind's literally gusting and I can see the Pacific Ocean just outside my window here and uh, it's very white capped. <laughs> but uh, at least we have no lightning so um, that's good. So anyway guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Spend some time with your family and yeah, until next time you guys, take care.